previously on Weedum and Reap. Our amazing turkey, Kiwi, has been sitting on her nest for about a week, but we're not sure that the eggs are fertile. Looks, Looks like empty. Well. No, none of them. So because I thought this would happen, I ordered some fertilized eggs online. They are peacock eggs, so they should be coming tomorrow. <laughs> We are going to smuggle the eggs onto, uh, onto, onto, uh, onto, under kiwi. <laughs> and she is going to think they are her eggs and hatch peacocks. This is going to be a fun experiment. It's not an egg. It's not an egg. What? There's two. Oh There's two. I see two chicks. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Okay, hold on one second. I'll be right back. Oh yeah, I'll finish milking. Yeah. Wait a second. Are those peacocks? I don't know. Some of the turkeys hatched. No, that's what. Yeah, it feels like it seems like they're like a few days old. Hold on to me. What are you? <laughs> I think that's a peacock chick. It doesn't look at all like that. Yeah, it doesn't look like the turkey ones. They're so cute. Look at those big eyes. Look at those eyes. Mm, put it down? Yeah, go ahead and put it down. It's, it's pretty. It's not as scared. Yeah. That's weird. Yeah, those, that's not a turkey sound. Those are got to be peacock yeah. sounds. Yeah. They're so cute. They are so cute. Look at them. They haven't imprinted yet, so they're still nice. Oh <laughs> well, no, maybe peacock chicks don't, are just nice. Don't get scared of you as much. The correct the correct term. term. Pea chicks. Wow. So here's the conundrum. Tomorrow we're gonna get flood irrigation in our backyard, and we can't have the turkey or the peacocks back there because that canal fills up full of water. So we don't want them to drown. We're gonna need to move them mid-hatching. We should have done this a long time ago, but we're just gonna have to be careful and do it as best we can. This is where we're gonna? Yeah, I think this is where we're gonna keep okay. Kiwi and the so peacocks. Okay, I think you should pick Kiwi up and take her back, and then we'll get the chicks. I know, I know. It's okay. You even hop over? Yeah, you can. Okay, don't. Got him. That's the, that's the turkey? I mean the peacock, sorry. This one's the last peacock one. Hasn't done anything yet. I don't think there's a pip on it or anything. She ate my cantaloupe from the other day. And these are just the eggs that I think are all duds. All right, I've got all these ones. I'm not gonna move them. And we've got a million helpers around yeah, us. We do. So this is fun. Uh oh. <laughs> yes, yeah, she has a good defense mechanism. Yeah, oh, she does. It stinks. That's nasty. There she goes. She's calling to him. There you go. I think she's just in a new place. Yeah, she's just concerned a little bit. Okay. That'll be good for now. We just gotta see if that last one's gonna hatch. Okay, we've got Kiwi in there protected from the water. Hopefully that last peacock egg hatches today. Go. That feels so much better. But it feels cold. That's why it's It feels too cold? No, it's not too cold. It's just like, I don't know. Dora, get in, it's good. What a good mom. Oh, she's still sitting on him. All right, so looks like just the two have hatched, but we really want to check and see if the third one is viable. So we're going to try to see if we can see anything inside it. Basically try to candle them without moving it too much. The reason why we're wanting to do this is because the 
two little peacocks that have already hatched look actually a day or two old like they hatched early they hatched earlier than what i thought so i'm not really sure that third one made it all right so i think with this one i think it, it stopped developing at a certain age so we could probably open it with these ones these turkey eggs are definitely not fertile see all of them are empty yep well looks like she has those two Nice. Doing good, Kiwi. We'll see you tomorrow. Oh, hello. Welcome to our farm where we raise baby peacocks. Look at how cute they're baby They are eyes. so cute and they're so friendly. Like, we've never had this happen before. They are so sweet. Most chicks that hatch on our farm will run away from us whether they've been turkeys or ducks or chickens none of them have been as friendly as these little peacocks and i actually think that we were probably a couple days late that they hatched a few days ago so it's pretty funny that they just <laughs> they're just friendly it's definitely calling out out to kiwi cuz they they talk to each other let's go back to your mama I don't know guys, I'm kind of falling in love with these little peacocks. They are so sweet. There's your baby. So we still have one egg that hasn't hatched and I don't think it's going to because those chicks look a couple days old. So after we do the morning chores, we're gonna go ahead and open it, see what's inside. I'll wait to see your Are we gonna crack open that peacock egg today? Yep. We are? Yep. Oh my gosh! She has been in a good mood last couple days. <laughs> good job, Luna. Oh, little tail wag. Have you tried to pet those peacocks yet, Ethan? Uh, no, I haven't. They're Probably really, nice. yeah, they're really sweet. All right, go ahead and let her. All right, see you later, Luna. Here you go, Willow, come here. There you go. The reason why I decided to do AI breeding with Willow is because like first time mamas sometimes have a hard time getting pregnant. They are really shy of the buck and it can be difficult. Also, uh, last time we had a buck here, <laughs> Luna accidentally got pregnant. And it is hard to maintain, to keep a buck here and keep him in the they're fence. They're really smelly and not that fun to have on your property. They get into everything. I also thought it would be just a great experience for us to try AI and see how it works. I got enough of the buck samples stored at the vet to last all of our goats this year. So we'll see how it goes. We have to hold Doris down so that Penny knows okay. that she won't get rammed if she comes over. There you go. See, you won't get hurt. <laughs> ah, stop it.
have a ton of eggs right now. So today I made a homemade custard. It's pretty simple. It's from Stephanie from Stupid Easy Paleo's book, but you can use really any custard recipe. This one uses egg yolks and then coconut milk, although you can use regular milk as well. Most of the time I use all of our fresh goat's milk and everything, but today I had a can of coconut milk and I decided to just change it up a little bit. Then I added honey, some lemon juice, some vanilla, and finally some gelatin to make it all set up. Oh, also if you cook down a little bit of fruit, you can put that on top. It makes it a little bit more sweet by doing that and just adds that fruity flavor to it. That's it, stick that in the fridge and then you have a delicious custard dessert. Also, if you put it in a mason jar, you'll feel extra cool. I would put everything in mason jars if I could. Right, Kevin? Yeah. You're so weird. <laughs> Look, they're being quieter. <laughs> I don't think, I don't know. <laughs> it's like missing a beat. <laughs> Can I make the noises? <laughs> so we brought the chicks to play with them inside. And they're really friendly, but they're really loud. <laughs> and so Kevin brought the old dummy turkey we got forever ago because he thinks that this fake turkey is going to quiet them down. They're definitely not afraid of us, oh, but no. they love her. Three They're looking for their away. mama. We got to bring them back. Okay. They were so cute with their little eyes. But yeah, they have really cute eyes. I think you're scaring them with your beard. <laughs> <laughs> There's your mama. Oh. Can we open up the egg? Kiwi, are you abandoning that egg? Yeah, yeah. I think she's gonna abandon it. Let's open it. Okay, go grab it. Did I look in there? Mm -hmm. Oh, liquid. Oh yeah, I see that. Ugh. Oh, a rotten egg. There's a little formed a little bit. Yeah, it formed a little bit of stuff, but it stopped. <laughs> I love how you're using Dad's tools to do. It. Well, this is the only thing on the table. It looks well, like it stopped growing a long time ago. Here's your reward, Kiwi, for hatching two eggs. Some watermelon. There you go. So we decided to do something fun today and see if Fern is the same size as her sister, Hope who lives all the way in New Hampshire. We sold Hope to another YouTube family, the Lumnas of Lumna Acres in New Hampshire. And we wanted to see, are they the same size after all this time? So we weighed them, we measured them, and we found out that Fern is 17 inches tall and 38 pounds. So if you wanna see what Hope weighs, head over to Lumna Acres. I'll link to the video above and in the description. Hope was the runt of the litter, so we're gonna see if she's caught up yet to Fern.